FX Zara here, back again with another video for our channel. FX Zara, FX Zara, your African Barbie. I'm a composer and I'm a violinist before anything else. But aside from that, I'm a social media influencer slash YouTuber. So welcome to our channel. Talk about hair, beauty, life, and everything else. I'm here with you all today because I want to do something a bit different. I'd like to talk about my frustrations with my hair and why I might low-key be considering just chopping it off. Before we make a decision together, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on so you know every time we post a new video. Thank you guys so much. God bless you all, and let's get this show on the road. So you guys, this is a bit weird for me. I've never really had serious issues with my hair except for the time I got heat damage. I'm gonna link that right here if you wanna check that out. Otherwise, I've always loved my hair, but for the past few years, I feel like my length has been stagnant. I'm sure it's a result of that heat damage because I've been chopping my hair a lot since the heat damage to fully recover, and now I think I'm pretty much recovered, but I just don't feel that my hair is going anywhere and I'm getting tired. I feel exasperated. It would be really crazy if I came on here and told you, Yay guys, I love my hair so much. It's so perfect and does everything I want it to do. Because it really doesn't. And I thought I'd share this part of my journey with you because I feel like this is a lot more real, this is a lot more authentic, and this is as much a part of the journey as the successes are. That's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about why I'm tired of my hair and why I think I might just chop it off. As stated previously, I feel like my hair has been pretty stagnant and naturally my hair tends towards dryness, but I feel like it's been uber dry. Aside from that, I've been seeing split ends and I just don't know what to do. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Why am I getting splits? I haven't been experiencing as much breakage as I used to, but why do I still have splits in my hair? I really don't know what to do aside from just chop all of it off. Comment down below, have you all ever felt this way? Do you think I should chop my hair off? Do you? I really feel like that might be the solution to my current issues with it. But I also feel like I'm at a point in my life where maybe I need to start afresh in a lot of ways. And maybe chopping off my hair is part of that starting afresh, you know? I've never done it before. Even when I got my big chop, I had about three inches of hair to my name. So it wasn't really a big chop. I feel it was more of a mini big chop because I did not go completely bald. But I'm willing to consider doing it right now. I just don't know how my head is shaped. I was thinking though, you guys, as much as I would love to use these and just go ham, maybe that's a bit drastic. What if I gave it six months, right? To see if I can get my hair into any kind of shape that I feel is appropriate for my life. And here's how we're going to go about that. If I'm not successful, you're going to see me back here chopping it all off. And before we get to that point, you guys, let me know in the comments down below how you think I can revive my hair. Bearing in mind that I'm very protein sensitive and my hair does not like coconut oil. I'm also low porosity. So all of my low po naturals, any other types of naturals that have any knowledge about hair like mine, let me know below. What do you think I should do? First thing I'm thinking of doing, which I actually did the other day, is henning my hair. I'm gonna add that to my routine. I'm gonna see if that helps thicken my strands, fortify my strands in a way that prevents them from splitting or breaking because I'm tired. I'm so tired of seeing split ends. Like, I'm just completely over it. I can't deal with it anymore. Trim, 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 which I do often, but then they come back. So what is the essence? I just need them to be gone for good. And my strands, even though there's a lot of hair on my head, as you guys can see, my hair is very, very dense. My strands are fine. So maybe this is how I'm going to maintain the integrity of my hair strands because I think I treat my hair pretty nicely, but maybe I'm not doing enough. So let's try this henna. I did it just the other day. It actually felt really nice on my hair. I got henna from this one retailer in Nigeria called Beautific. I never expired it. I really did not expect to see henna that finely milled. I tried henna before when my hair was heat damaged, thinking that my hair was just 
like going through a weird phase and that it was never affecting his life. Only to discover that of course it was heat damage. And then the henna wasn't so effective because my hair was already a hot nasty mess. But now I think it could actually do something positive. So let's see how this henna journey goes. I might also incorporate some other Ayurveda kinds of properties into this journey because I'm really tired of seeing stagnant length. My hair needs to move forward and it will move forward. So number two, I'm probably going to start moisturizing a lot more. I thought I was moisturizing enough, but girl, I guess I'm not. I don't have my steamer with me and that was always a huge part of my regimen. I noticed that when my hair was at its peak, it was because I had my steamer in my arsenal. Now my steamer is back home in America. I'm literally just going to get a clothing steamer so I can be steaming my expensive clothes and also use it to steam my hair. It's not every time spend how many hundreds of dollars or thousands of Naira on an expensive standing steamer, which is about 30,000 Naira, close to $100, when I could spend maybe about 7,000 Naira, which is $20 for a clothing steamer that I can multitask with. And I did it in school, I did it in college. So I'm gonna do that and see if that actually helps my hair start to flourish again, especially for us low porosity naturals. We need some serious moisture penetration. Steaming took my hair game to the next level when I was doing it very, very regularly. So that's number two, I'm gonna include more moisture. I'm going to be very deliberate with how I moisturize and deep condition my hair. The third thing I'm likely going to do, I think I should probably just trim my hair. I think I really need to start fresh and just give my hair a little mini chop, not more than two inches. I think that's reasonable, that's appropriate, right guys? I also want to make some length gains, so I may do it when I reach a certain point because I feel that if I employ other methods, grow my hair out, retain length, I can actually trim it and not set myself back. We're going to see how that goes because I just trimmed it the other day. I'm a little scissor happy. Like my scissors be getting a really serious workout all the time. So I don't think I need to trim it right this second, but I probably just get rid of these splits once and for all. And I think two inches should do the trick. So when we get there, you guys will know. And if you want a trimming tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Number four, I'm going to actively treat my scalp and see if I can boost my hair growth. I don't believe in any super magical pill or anything like that that's gonna make hair grow, but I do believe in maximizing my health and then also treating my scalp in a way that maximizes hair growth. So if I'm eating well, taking my hair vitamins, massaging my scalp and nourishing it, then I'm very, very certain that my hair will actually grow at a quicker rate. That's pretty standard. It's not anything abnormal or unexpected. Number five is actually one of my favorite things. I'm going to protective style. Am I crazy? Like, <laughs> a lot of my peers are like, yeah, we don't need a protective style. Protective styling is of the devil. But I'm not about that life. I love to protective style. Again, I have a protective style video, which I'll link right here. And I understand why they say that, but as for me, I feel it's absolutely necessary to protective style my hair. My hair thrives in that kind of setting. My hair loves to be protected because I mean, I have serious hand and hair syndrome, you guys. And I like to be putting my hands all up in my hair because I mean, I think it's pretty. I like my hair as much as I'm pretty over it right now. I do love my hair. We, you know, we're experiencing a rough patch in our relationship. For my hair to flourish, it needs to be protected. My ends need to be kept under wraps. Now, I'm not going to do that by doing braids, I'm not gonna do weaves, because those things I think will actually prove to be rather detrimental, but I will likely do cornrows and keep my hair in my typical big twist. If I adopt that low manipulation mentality, I'm sure my hair will flourish and retain a lot more length. So these are the ways I'm going to actively try to solve my problem. It's not been easy. I love my hair, I do, but I can't give it what it needs and it's showing me that I'm neglecting it. I feel like maybe I should just get rid of it. Maybe that's going to solve my problems, but we've been rocking with each other for a very long time. I know I'm sounding really dramatic, but my hair is a huge part of me. 
I don't know that I can really say, yeah, I'm not my hair. Dye it blonde one day, chop it off, shave my sides the next day, because I value my hair. It is my crown. It is my glory. It adorns my head beautifully, but I want it to be healthy more than anything. All of this that I'm telling you all about, I'm very heavily considering. It can be exhausting. A lot of us in the natural hair community may not be so open to sharing these insecurities, but I want you all to know, I want my particular part of this community to know that it's not all butterflies and roses and lollipops and chocolate. Sometimes it's really challenging. The same challenges you're facing, the same insecurities, the same doubt about your hair and yourself, we face them too. As much as I've come to appreciate who I am, I am certainly not perfect. My imperfections are what make me human and they're what make me special. And I know that those imperfections are part of what has made us special to one another. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me through the ups and the downs. <laughs> this current down I'm experiencing cannot last. It's certainly going to pass away. And we're gonna be back on here rocking, whether I'm bald or whether my hair is flourishing again. So pray for me, y'all. Pray for you, girl. I'm going to work hard and let's go on this journey together. Let me know down below, would you all like to see me combat my relationship issues with my hair? I know I'm really personifying my hair, but bear with me. Let me know down below if you guys have any hair struggles, if you can identify, please let me know. It will encourage me to do what I can to get my hair back on the right track before making this drastic decision. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that was kind of emotional. It may seem very superficial to some, but my hair is special to me and it symbolizes a lot in my life. We're gonna wrap this up. It's getting a little bit long-winded, but before we do, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see next. Be sure to also comment down below. Share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones and anyone who has these kinds of hair insecurities, hair challenges, because I would like every individual to know that he or she is not alone. Last but certainly not least, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time we post a new video, that's everything you guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.